We have the opportunity with AgriLife Extension to have hired four program specialists located regionally throughout the state, and that's partly due to our, our wine industry is booming so rapidly. Um, not only in the hill country and in the high plains, but also here in North Texas. Not only North Central Texas and Northwest Texas, but also Northeast Texas. And I'm here today at Enoch Stomp Vineyard and Winery in Harleton, Texas. And my goal here today is to offer, in collaboration with our ag agents, uh, Matt and Randy, to offer a workshop that addresses the needs of the growers and winemakers in this area, specifically East Texas. As part of Texas, we also have um, a couple of varieties that do really well that are not grown in most of the rest of the state, primarily Blanc de Bois and Black Spanish. We see that production in the Gulf Coast, but we're not going to see that in the High Plains um, or the Hill Country. And so there are specific needs here in East Texas. And uh, with this collaborative effect uh, or collaborative um, group here, we're trying to address that with growers. So today um, we have about 60 growers here and winemakers from all over the region. Um, we have prospective growers who haven't started anything yet. They're um, taking the right routes and trying to educate themselves. And of course with AgriLife our goal here is to introduce and bring research-based knowledge directly and extend that to the grower. Okay, So it's not my opinion, it's what research has proven scientifically. And so we have growers that are prospective totally new to this. We have growers that have been growing grapes for years and been doing very well but want to learn more. And so that's the dynamics we see. And the industry is booming. Uh, we have 60 attendees in this workshop. We're talking about um, harvest considerations. When's the best time to harvest? How do you determine ripeness in this area? And also uh, we're talking about insect control and management. Okay, especially talking about Pierce's disease, one of the major limiting factors in Texas, including East Texas, um, and also fungal pathogen incidents and new research that's being conducted with Texas A&M AgriLife Extension. We're here today at Enoch Stomp in Harleton, Texas, with a wonderful crowd of about 60 uh, people that are interested in growing grapes and winemaking. I think what today brings to me is the absolute diversification that we have here in East Texas in terms of production agriculture. Most people you ask um, about agriculture in East Texas and they think about forage and beef cattle and pine trees, but this is proof that they, we have a lot more to offer here with our, with our landowners and, and property holders here that they can grow grapes or fruit trees or just the limits, there's just really no limit to what you can do if you set your mind to it.